Hi everyone, welcome back to Apples and Tiaras. So today's vlog is gonna be a little bit different than you guys are used to. It is currently January 12th, 2023, and I did something kind of crazy today. I told my principal that I was moving today because Scott and I are hopefully, fingers crossed, going to be moving back up to the Prescott area in Yavapai County. Um, so if you know anything about Arizona, you guys know where that probably is. And if you don't, Arizona has a whole northern region area where you actually get four seasons. You get snow and you have fall and it's not hot. Um, and that is where I grew up in Prescott, Arizona. So um, we've actually, we lived there a few years ago. If you guys have been watching me for years, you guys know. I used to teach up in Prescott. I used to work with Jennifer up in Prescott. And um, I'm actually trying to go back to the school that Jennifer and I taught at together. So I'm starting this vlog today and it's probably going to be a super like choppy dragged out vlog because I'm going to be doing like updates throughout this process. But today was the day that I told my principal at my current position as a fourth grade science social studies teacher down here in Queen Creek that I am going to be moving. So she was really, really sweet about it. She was, oh, and I told her the reasons, you know, we want to be near family. We want kind of a quieter, slower lifestyle. We want to be more adventurous and get out and, you know, just everything about living in the valley is just not my favorite. And Scott's ready for a change as well. Um, so yeah, she was really sweet about it. She was like, I'm praying for your husband that he gets the job he wants. And I'm praying for you that you get the job you want. And it's all just been fabulous. So um, I did, or I do have a student teacher that's working with me right now who will be graduating in December. So, um, and because she is going to school at ASU, they do have a couple of different programs where you can do the last or a couple of bits of your student teaching as a paid substitute um, and work under like a mentor teacher. You would still have a lot of like observations and evaluations, but you would be being paid as a substitute instead of not being paid at all. So I brought this idea up to my principal and she was like all for it. So she told me like, make sure you have her really polished on behavior management and classroom management and engagement strategies and all of that. Um, so her and I have really been discussing a lot of classroom management, behavior management, all of that stuff so that she can be polished and ready to go and just kind of slide right into my position for fourth grade science. So fingers crossed that everything works out, um, but today was kind of a big step. So my husband, Scott, as you guys know, is a police officer here in the Valley, and he is hoping to lateral up to a department up in the Northern area. Um, so he has two departments that he's kind of going back and forth between. And then he also has um, an insurance job that he's looking into to get out of police work altogether. Um, so, we're gonna just continue to pray for all of that. Um, he's actually up there right now doing like interview stuff, paperwork, like application stuff. So um, it's all kind of happening. Um, we're gonna have to sell our house, which we are more than prepared to do. Um, so I'll take you guys through that process. Probably in this video, I'll just give you little updates here and there about things that are happening, um, kind of just like steps that are getting us closer and closer to moving and then I will probably do like a big announcement video before I post this one. So, um, or maybe I'll post it like after or maybe at the same time. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet because I wanna make it special. I'll probably post it before this one, let's be really honest because you guys wanna know like, oh, she's moving back and then now you can see the whole process of how, how it went down. So anyway, um, yeah. I'm really excited. I'm also really nervous because um, both Scott and I, in the professions that we're in, um, they do not pay nearly as much up there as they do down here. So both of us are going to be taking a major, major pay cut to move up there. So we're trying to figure out all of that. Um, and we're hoping to build a house because my mom 
is a very seasoned home builder. Uh, she used to be a contractor. She worked in building homes her whole life. She's always built us homes. She's built us over 10 homes in my, in my lifetime. So um, we're hoping to be able to build a house using my mom as our consultant. And so, you know, being able to afford that plus our smaller salaries, plus our big car payments. So we're trying to really just work out all of these details and see if it's going to be possible for us to move. Um, one thing I did mention to my principal today was that everything kind of depends on if Scott can get a job and if we can sell our house. So of course she was like, well, keep me posted. Contracts are due March 3rd. So I told her I would definitely like let her know before March 3rd for sure if we were gonna be leaving. Um, so she does know that we are planning to move. We're trying to get everything kind of set up to move. Um, and so, you know, I can give her like a final yes, it is not happening. Um, I will not be signing my contract. So this is six minutes deep already. So I'm gonna let you guys go. But please pray for us because I just am so excited to be home in beautiful, beautiful Prescott, Arizona. Um, if you guys have no idea where it is, you should look it up because it is gorgeous. Okay, till next time. We're at 50%. Okay, so it is January, what, 14th today? And we're all up here in Prescott looking at a prospective property that we might be purchasing to build a home on. So I'm gonna show you guys the view. So this is a neighbor's house. Our property would be that way. That is so cool. But we'll show you what it looks like. I love the view. But that's the view. You feel like you're on top of the world. All the way over there. That's why you move out here. Hi everyone. Um, I can't remember the last time I did a check-in with everybody about the whole moving thing, but it is February 17th and I'm just at school getting ready for my day. Um, but today is actually a kind of pivotal day in our process of moving to Prescott. So I think the last time I updated you guys, I don't know for sure if I told you if I didn't fine but if not um, so my husband Scott was actually hired with a um, department up in the Prescott area I won't tell you which one um, but he actually starts his first day is this coming Tuesday the 21st of February and because the department pays so much less than what he's paid down here we decided that to save money we're going to be pulling cash out of preschool cash is today your last day of school yeah yeah um and then um cash and scott will be up in prescott four days out of the week and then they will either come down and visit me on his days off or i will go visit them on my days off because right now his schedule is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, as of right now. That could change, and if it does change, if he ends up working weekends, then I will spend every weekend going up to Prescott between now and May 26th, which is my last day here in Queen Creek. So a lot of things have kind of been going on in the background um, that I haven't really shared yet. So. Um, that is one of the kind of pivotal moments. Um, the next thing that is to come is on March 1st, our house is going to be listed for sale. Um, and we are hoping and praying that we can sell it for a certain price so that we can make enough money to then build our new home. Um, so, and we're not like overpricing it or anything like that. Like we've discussed with our realtor what a fair price would be and just depending on all the other prices of the areas around us, um, what we have decided on is pretty, um, it's a pretty amazing price for uh, a home like ours. So um, I will probably be 
um, sharing the house sale process with you all, but I think I will probably share that um, process on our family channel, which is called Apples in the Badge. If you guys um, are interested, you can go over to that channel, follow it, and then we will be probably posting a lot more on that channel, just kind of around like the house sale and the building process for our new home. And honestly, like just the whole fact of moving to Prescott is really like an enrichment for our family. Um, and so we, we want to be able to share more on that platform just because we want to be able to have the memories to look back on. So if you're interested in following our family channel, it is going to be linked right down below. It's called Apples and the Badge. Um, and I would love for you guys to hang out over there and so that I can share a little bit more like family personal things rather than just teaching content. Um, so anyway, that is kind of like the newest update. It's going to be really hard for me because I've never been away from him longer than like one or two nights just on a vacation. And now it's going to be like four nights in a row. Uh oh, I don't know where 16 is. Um, so it's gonna be hard on me and for him. He's kind of sad, like he's gonna miss mommy a lot. But um, I've we've assured him that, you know, there's not gonna be a weekend that I don't come or that like even if Scott's working weekends, my mom can always bring him down um, to be with me on a weekend if Scott is working. So, um, and he will not be going to preschool up in Prescott. Um, He's gonna be, my mom and I are gonna actually sit down and create like a really nice kind of like weekly schedule for him. He'll be doing some online learning. Um, we're gonna get him on ABC Mouse. I know a lot of people rave about ABC Mouse. There's a couple of other programs that I know of that he can go on and learn just to continue his learning um, while he's not in school. Um, he starts kindergarten in August, so, um, and he's actually, doing really well because like he's been ready for kindergarten for a long time um and then my sister runs an outdoor program it's called honeybees adventure time up in prescott if you guys live in arizona um her thing is amazing um so he'll be going to that almost every afternoon and then on weekends when i'm up there um and it's just like a hiking club an adventure club an outdoor club um and she also teaches a prenda micro school so if if he like is wanting like a school atmosphere or, like something like that he can go with her um during the school day as well so he's going to be kept really busy um we're going to get him into like little league and swimming lessons and he's going to be kept so busy so he'll be in good hands he's going to be with the preschool of nana for a while this is her food look what um so anyway that is the latest installment of the valdez move um, so I hadn't, I did, wasn't sure if I had updated y'all on any of that. So I wanted to just pop in, um, as of right now, we have not, um, purchased or like promised ourselves to a lot. There are two that we're looking at both very different price ranges. And so we want to kind of wait a little bit, um, to, see like the sell of our house kind of depends on which lot we're going to purchase because it's all like a money down kind of situation so um anyways i will update you guys as it gets farther in um with the sale of our house and all of that and then um we'll see how things go all right friends so it is february 20th Yes, it's President's Day. And we are at another perspective lot here in Prescott. Everyone's here. We're kind of climbing around and playing. Um, this lot is significantly more money than the other one we're looking at, but because it's already flat, it's gonna be way less work to build. So we actually put in an offer today that we should be hearing about in the next 24 hours. So cross your fingers for us because this lot would actually be like perfect. It's way more money. We're gonna have kind of a tighter budget on the build, but it's in a beautiful location. I'll show you guys the view. So this is the view. It is on a busy street, 
but we don't really mind because this whole area, all of this land right here would be ours. In addition to the flat top. So the house would go here and then we would have some side yard stuff. And then the whole rest of our backyard is this. Hey you guys. So I'm chatting with you from inside of my medicine cabinet. Um, today is Tuesday, February 21st. And last night was the first night that I spent here in the big house alone. Um, Cash is up in Prescott with Scott and my parents. And I am down here. I'm going to be staying here by myself a lot of the time, like majority of the time. Um, selling the house, keeping it clean, and then just finishing out the contract here for school. Luckily, we have spring break in two more weeks. And then, let's see, is it two more weeks? three I think it's two or three more weeks and then one more week so three weeks total until spring break and then um <clears throat> and then I can go up to Prescott and just be with my family so um last night was kind of hard I slept okay um I do take like a sleep um aid gummy and um that helps me sleep and stay asleep. But when I'm by myself, it's a lot harder to make the conscious decision to like turn off the TV and like be in the quiet. I have major sleep anxiety. I've always had a hard time like falling asleep. I don't know, like the sheer thought of like my body shutting down and like going to sleep has always terrified me. I don't know what it is. It just always has. Um, like I've always struggled with like, okay, just close your eyes and go to bed. No, just turning off the TV, closing my eyes and going to bed has never ever worked for me. Um, my whole life, I've always had to either sleep with the TV on or like make sure someone's with me. Um, I have always had like a sound machine of sorts, um, just as like a support. Um, to help me not feel, I don't know, I guess like laying there in the dark with your eyes closed is kind of vulnerable. And I don't know, I've just always hated like going to sleep. Once I'm asleep, I'm fine. But anyway, I apologize. My bathroom's a mess. Um, we've been kind of like going through the motions of packing and cleaning for the house to be sold. Um, a lot of that's going to be done this week. So I think I'm going to um, create a new vlog starting here um, where we're not really focused on like moving details and information, but rather now we're kind of discussing um, how we're prepping for this move. So yeah, you can see there's kind of like stuff all over because we had started like deep cleaning the shower because the shower was... If you have showers like this, you know how annoying they are to clean. Anyways, so I think I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, the next installment of this saga is going to be selling this house, seeing if our lot's purchased, which we should know. We should know today if they've accepted our offer. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Please, God. Um, and then after that, it's just selling this house finishing my teaching contract and getting a new job. So I will be including all of that information in our part two video of we are moving. So thank you guys for watching this long. Um, subscribe to the channel, uh, both channels, if you guys want to stay up to date with all of our family adventure and um, follow us on Instagram as well. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.